Welcome to our discussion on Chapter 1, the Introduction to Systems Analysis and Design. I am your instructor, Joseph J. Mill S. Morpos, and today we'll begin exploring the foundations of systems analysis and design, or SAD. This chapter introduces what SAD is, why is it very important, and how it fits into the systems development life cycle. By the end of this chapter, you should be able to do three main things. First, define what systems analysis and design are. Second, differentiate the roles of a systems analyst, business analyst, and software developer. And third, understand the role and importance of systems analysis and design in the systems development life cycle or SDLC. What is systems analysis and design? Systems analysis is the process of investigating business problems, gathering requirements, and identifying solutions. On the other hand, systems design focuses on the technical and operational details of how the system will be built. In short, Analysis is about what is needed, while design is about how to build it. What is an information system? An information system is a set of components that work together to collect, process, store, and distribute information. It supports three main areas. First, business operations. These are daily activities like payroll, or sales transactions. Second, decision making. It provides managers with reports and data for informed choices. And lastly, strategic planning. Hel this is helping organizations set long-term goals and directions. The components of an information system. An information system has five main components. People, these are both end users and IT professionals. Hardware, it's like computers and servers. Software, these are programs and applications. Networks, such as the internet or local area networks. And finally, data. These are the raw facts that become useful information. All of these must work together to make an information system effective. There are different types of information systems. A transaction processing system, or TPS, it automates routine daily tasks like sales. A management information system, or MIS, it summarizes data and generates reports. A decision support system, or DSS, it helps in analyzing data for complex decisions and enterprise systems such as ERP and CRM. It integrates business processes across the entire organizations. In building an information system, different roles are very essential. The systems analyst acts as bridge between the users and developers, ensuring the requirements are very clear. The business analyst focuses on aligning information technology with organizational goals. The software developer or programmer is responsible for actually coding and building the system. These roles are very important because they must work together for a successful project. The Systems Development Lifecycle or SDLC is the structured process of developing systems. It has seven phases, planning, analysis, design, implementation, testing, deployment, and maintenance. This framework ensures that systems are built systematically, meet requirements, and function effectively. There are different models of the SDLC. We have the waterfall model. It is linear and sequential. It is best for projects with fixed requirements. 
An example is a government payroll system where requirements are fixed by regulation and unlikely to change. The Agile model is an iterative and collaborative, delivering working software in short span of time. An example is a mobile application where user feedback drives frequent updates and feature improvements. Lastly, the spiral model. It combines iteration with risk analysis, making it suitable for large and high-risk projects. Example is military defense systems or healthcare systems, where safety and security risks are critical and must be evaluated carefully. Now, each model has advantages and is chosen based on the project needs. Systems analysis and design plays a role in every phase of SDLC. In planning, it defines business needs. In analysis, it gathers requirements. In design, it creates models and diagrams. During implementation, it supports developers. In testing, it validates the system. And during maintenance, it ensures the system continues to meet business needs. In short, SAD guides the entire system development process. To summarize, we learned that systems analysis and design is essential in developing effective information systems. Information systems support operations, decisions, and strategy. The main types of systems include TPS, MIS, DSS, and ERP or CRM. Key roles are the systems analyst, business analyst, and software developer. And finally, the SDLC provides a structured framework with different models such as waterfall, agile, and spiral. Let's check your understanding with a quick quiz. Number one. The main purpose of system analysis and design is letter A, coding software, B, managing hardware installation, C, ensuring systems align with business needs, and D, creating marketing strategies. Question two. A system that records sales transaction is an, is an example of DSS, TPS, MIS, or ERP. Be sure to review the material and practice more quiz items to enforce your understanding. Thank you and God bless.